Hey, Jimmy Coffin here, Coffin Comics. Welcome back to Crucial Con 2023. We're going to hear what's going on in the future. We're going to take a time machine and see, get a sneak peek for 2024 with uh, Quarantine Studios. So we're going to go to William Everhart, the art director for Quarantine Studios. He's at the new uh, secret location. They just moved from their previous location. You're going to see this awesome new studio that they're at. And let's bring them on right now. William, how are you doing? Hey, man, I'm doing pretty good. Yourself? I am doing great. We're really excited to hear what you have planned for us in the future. So, folks, stick around to the very end. We're going to hear what's coming on in 2024. But first, we want to do a quick recap of uh, what uh, quarantine has brought to us so far. And I see that uh, you have a new background there. What is what's going on? You have a new location? Yeah, yeah, we got a we got a slightly new background here. Uh, just a new location a new uh, a bat cave, if you will, for Quarantine Studio. Uh, this is our new location um, here in North Carolina. We are, uh, we've got a retail space here, so we'll be open to the public. People can come by and actually see and pick up the products. Uh, we've got some space in the back for, of course, all the magic that happens to bring these statues to life. And then we also have a little bit of warehouse space so we can, uh, we can keep those products rolling in. Ooh, it'd be awesome if you had like a window to see you like do the painting, whoever does that, I assume, assume it's you. I don't know if you do the do the uh, the painting there for the uh, for the first run of the models, but uh, that'd be awesome to see that and then the sculpting there. Does any of that stuff also happen there? Is that a possibility to see some of that? Do you give tours as well behind the scenes? Stuff? Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll be able to people will be able to come in and kind of hang out with us. We got a great space up front. Um, you know, it's it's like a collector's dream over here. And uh, just got a place for people to kind of hang out, not just come in and buy something. They hang out with us, chat with us. Um, you know, who knows? It may be some some painting demos. Who knows what may happen? But yeah, we got plenty of space for that kind of thing. So yeah, definitely something in the future. Mm -hmm. Oh man, definitely a uh, fiend destination for sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. Go, go huff some paint with you. Oh yeah, good times. So folks, you probably recognize Quarantine Studio from some of their previous work, which sold out now if you missed it i'm sorry you missed out but we have this one here this was the uh the breakaway lady deaf seductress oh man everyone was going nuts for this one anything any thoughts on this one that you uh worked oh on yeah that one that one changed uh changed quarantine studio in, in a good way um that that outsold every other statue that we have done but to date that is the highest selling one and it went fast i mean we were sold out in a matter of days on that one so it was great and then also everyone loves this one this one was unbelievable taking people's breath away when they they saw hell witch the one fifth scale also sold out i don't think you can get that as well anyway so folks anything that quarantine does make sure to pick up asap because it's going to sell out and even better it's going to hold its value which uh we know you love that thoughts yeah, on this one we don't repop the, we don't, as I call it, repop it. We don't redistribute those at all. So once the, the, once the original line is done, that's it. There are no retakes on that or anything. So you better get them while they're hot. Uh, this particular statue, a uh, little bit of a game changer too, uh, just cause of the sheer scale of it. She is much beefier. That one fifth scale uh, really makes her stand out. Um, the wing structure and everything else, that's kind of a, a new one. Um, that was a, a little bit of a challenge, but we love a challenge and uh, we took it on and I think we knocked it out of the park. This one too also has the naughty version. I know that's the one we have uh, displayed at HQ. And like, you're not kidding. It takes up huge wingspan. It is like, it dominates your shelf space and it is awesome. You love that. You know, she's here to command and, uh, and that's a Mike Chrome. I love how you, yeah, you brought the original artwork to life in the 3D realm. It's just, you guys are uncanny with bringing those to life. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, we work with some really talented artists uh, for that. And we, we try to match the artists with, you know, the type of illustration, the type of character that it is. And so far, we've had really good luck with that. But, you know, this is not our first time doing it, so. <laughs> and then your other, your, the third one that uh, recently sold out as well was the La Marta. The, uh, oh, yeah. This was the Vengeance collectible one-fifth scale. And uh, that's an awesome image with the purple background but you can see the full one this is the joel gomez artwork that you guys took and uh i remember when it first arrived at hq and brian was showing us and we we're just like blown away by the details on the leather on the boots the uh it's almost and, and the leather on the uh 
on the jean or the leather jacket. It's just the details are just unbelievable. I we couldn't we just blown away. We couldn't like we couldn't take it. It was just like insanity how awesome it was. Yeah, yeah, and again, I have to give that to not only uh, Joel Gomez for providing us with some great artwork, but uh, with our artists, our digital artists are just, they're second to none. Um, it's like you said, that leather, there's every bit of grain in that leather in those coats and then her jean, or her, um, her pants there. It's, it's absolutely uh, unbelievable, the amount of texture they can cram into it. The fact that we're, you know, doing this uh, in not a traditional clay matter it's uh, 3d printed and then you know our factories over there they can capture every bit of that detail um, in in the production part of it it's um it's just something to it's just something to be said about the quality of uh, the people that we work with that support us so yeah that's that's where it's always at and Paul and I are all about those details and we are not going to budge an inch when it comes to the quality because we're collectors too. We know what we like, so we figure everybody else likes it too. So we don't uh, we don't give an inch when it comes to that kind of thing. <laughs> and it shows, I remember, yeah, it was like the zipper on yes. the, the jacket. It was like, we were blown away how like the details on the zipper just looked like a real, like you guys shrunk it. It's like Ant-Man jacket. It's just like unbelievable. <laughs> details you guys you're you're right yeah you, you can tell you have the highest standards and that's why i hold these, these statues also hold their collectability and folks you know when they get it they know it's a true work of art and it's not just something that's you know it's not just pop culture it's like high art yeah sure. it's not just a toy that you pop up on the shelf it is really a collectible piece of artwork it really is so that brings us to the latest so in a couple weeks you have the Lady Death 1-6 scale Reaper? Yes, it's the Reaper edition, yeah. Um, and I know I'm going to mispronounce the illustrator's name. I'm going to, so please forgive me. It's Elias Chadzudis. Chaz there He's you go. Elias Chadzudis. So, uh, <laughs> but here's the original artwork. You guys, so well, when you first announced this, it was like, no way, this is, it's just gonna be her, right? You're not gonna have the, uh, all those uh, uh, skeletons hanging onto her, but I kind of see it peeking in the background there. You guys went crazy and you did it, you went for it. You might get a little, might get a little view of her right over here. That's a, that's a test shot and we'll, we'll get you some shots here that you can see, but yeah. She's, um, that's what everybody said. Even the factory is like, oh, you're just talking about the lady in the middle. It's like, nope, we want all four skeletons as well and even the factors are telling us no there's no way that's never been done we're like we know that that's why we're doing it and so <laughs> we finally found a factory that was willing to take a challenge and um and we pushed through and again we didn't budge a single pixel on this so this thing has been in the works for quite some time now and it's been a lot of back and forth and we're really pushing the boundaries with what can be done in our industry with these statues. It's one thing to print off a single copy for yourself or whatever with a nice 3D printer. Um, it's a whole other thing when we start producing this on a larger scale. So um, this is produced uh, similar, similar to our previous statues as far as the way it's manufactured. It is molded, it is cast, um, but then there are some other things that have to happen to make it um, that detailed. So um, just to give you a little, uh, a little sense of it, since you can't see the one over my shoulder here, I do have one of the test skeletons here um, that I'll bring up. And this is an actual piece. This is exactly the way it'll come to, uh, to the end user here. And uh, yep, those are all the ribs. They're all there and uh, uh, individual pieces. And they all come together. Uh, his hands, uh, you can see in his arm here, that's, that's not one solid piece. That's, that's the two bones, the radius and the ulna. Um, if my anatomy is correct, that's what that is. And then of course, all of his little digits there at his fingers. Let's see if I can get that turned where you can kind of see it. So everything is there um, as much as we can get. It's all there. The details, again, you were talking about details earlier. This is just chock full of details. Um, these guys, of course, they've, they've sprung up from uh, their, um, their graves there so there's a little bit of dirt and detritus on them that's sculpted in and it's all there uh it's just really really nice work again uh very talented artists that we work with are 3d artists on these and then just pushing the factories to 
capture these details and be able to produce this type of thing. So it's, um, it's been a real challenge. Um, some might say an engineering nightmare. We call it a little <laughs> bit of engineering marvel ourselves. Uh, at least now that we're on this downside slope of it, we're almost there. Um, everything from, you know, just the statue itself and then the way they fit together, because uh, if you can, if you see from the, uh, from the statue uh, that we'll show, and then of course the, the uh, illustration, uh, those skeletons aren't just standing out beside her. They're they're in and around her. They're they're right up on Lady Death. They're they're all yeah. up in the grill, as they say, or whatever. You know, they're they're hugged up next to her, and so um, they're going to be the same way uh, in this 3D representation of it. They are right there with her, um, and they're they're kind of intertwined with each other. But each one is a separate statue. So you are getting five statues, not just one. You're getting five statues there, basically. Um, and then there's a, a base with the skulls, the graveyard, everything there. So yeah, it's a, it's a big, big piece. It's really impressive to see in person and uh, we can't wait to bring it to you, so. Yeah, uh, Ray Harryhausen would be proud of that skeleton. That is <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, you guys just pushed the boundaries for sure. I remember, so mm -hmm. these are uh, images that Brian shared last year for Crucial Con. And this was just like the 3D modeling mock-ups. Is that what yep. this is? Yeah, and we've made a few changes. There's just been some, uh, as an art director, I, there was just a few little changes that I wanted to see made, um, you know, some just tweaks of the positioning. And as you can see there in that middle shot there, you can see that how these skeletons aren't just, like I said, they're not just kind of sitting there. They're they're right up in there with her. They're underneath, yeah. the, underneath her hair and their arms are reaching in behind her and around her and everything else. So it's a uh, it's a lot um and like i said most of the factories we dealt with said there's no way you'll never pull it off <laughs> and uh, they said we don't want to have any part of it uh those same factories are now yeah they're eating a little bit of crow i, I would say <laughs> you gotta love a challenge yeah when we saw this park park list too we we're like yeah Holy cow. yep <laughs> is this how it, it's gonna come like this multiple parts that you guys are known for your like magnets Still yeah, that. so so we offer it in a in what we call a kit form, and it will be a, it'll have a similar parts breakdown like that. Um, that makes it a little bit easier for modelers to be able to hand paint them themselves and stuff like that. Uh, but the actual statue will not. It will be closer to being fully formed. Um, so Lady Death herself uh, will be all together, no parts. Uh, she's all one piece. Uh, she'll sit on the base, and then the four individual skeletons, as you can see, there's one of them here he is all together so you're not having to glue anything um there's pins in the feet um and then they just you got to put them in in the correct order and then they will nest right together with her so yeah that's another challenge um another engineering challenge is like i said it's it's one thing to print the parts produce the parts and get them together it's another thing to actually get that to our customers safely so um the team over in our factory we've been working really really diligent with them about the packaging itself, the box, the how is it going to fit in the box? How should it, you know, go? And um, they do a drop test and everything else for us. They do that with all of our statues. And um, so this is no different. It's just we're raising the bar that much higher uh, and giving them a challenge as well. But uh, they've been doing great so far. So we're hoping. Yeah, it's an art form too, like the packaging on there to make sure they it survives. And I know you guys are always improving on that as well seeing i don't yeah it's just like gets gets better and better as your statues get better your packaging gets better everything is just always improving that's why we love i know that's why coffin loves working with you guys because you're always pushing the bar trying to do better you're never just resting on your loyal laurels you're always like you know up for the challenge which is always amazing so oh, yeah. the next so the next question everyone wants to know how can i get that lady death once it's six scale reaper yeah, yeah, everybody just wanted to know that. Um, so we'll be bringing that live here. Um, we'll have pre-orders coming live here very soon. Uh, we we try to make sure that everything's going to go right and we've got production in the right direction and there's no hiccups before we do a pre-order because there's nothing worse than pre-ordering something and go, oh, wait, there's a three-month or a four-month delay. We don't, we don't like doing that. So we like to push things a little bit further along in the production process, and we are almost there. So we are ready to open this up. 
Um, and so in the next, uh, I'd say two weeks, we're going to open up pre-orders and there'll be a big announcement on quarantinestudio.com. And then of course, I'm sure uh, you guys uh, over at uh, Coffin will be announcing it as well. Oh yeah, we'll push it. But folks, I gotta tell you right now, go sign up, go to Quarantine Studios website, sign up for the mailing list. Also join their social media because I see all the time on Facebook, they're always updating pictures from the factory, giving updates on the progress. And it's really cool to see if you're like me, you're gonna love to see that uh, behind the scenes stuff and see the journey. So they'll take you on the journey all the way through until it's done, which is always fun to see. Yeah, it's kind of like those extras on the DVDs that you used to get. You know, that was always my favorite part. You'd get the movie on the DVD, and that was okay. I really wanted to see all the behind-the-scenes stuff. And so we try to do that with our social media platform, including YouTube. Um, but uh, this year has been a little bit of a blur for us because moving in the new space and everything. But now that we're in place, we're going to start ramping that back up. But yeah, absolutely check out our Facebook page. That is probably uh, one of the best places to get the latest information as to what we're doing. Also, I want to mention too that this, what I love that what you guys do is also you sell blanks. So uncolored versions and like you said, the breakdowns too, so people can put it together. So when I saw that breakdown, I was like, oh, that'd be fun to put it all together. But, you know, I'm sure most people want it pre-assembled. But just seeing that, I don't know, brings out the uh, the modeler in me that's like, oh man, I'd love to put that together and paint it and all that. So that that's that's very unique that you guys also offer it that way as well. Yeah, well, I'm, a, I'm an original modeler myself from way back. And so we kind of, we've carried that over. And that's how we started um, with Quarantine Studios. Um, we started on a different banner and we did a lot of model kits. And so people had to assemble them, but that was our audience. And then uh, we moved over to pre-painted statues. And yet the modeling is still our kind of our, our history. And so we wanted to maintain that. And so um, what's unique about us is that we're more like um, like one of the big uh, plastic model companies, like a, if you're thinking the U.S., maybe like an AMT Ertl or a Monogram, if you're thinking the Japanese, maybe the Tamiya or Fujimi or one of these. So you get these uh, big, beautiful kits and it's a bunch of parts and you trim them off the trees and stick them together. We don't have to trim these off the trees. Uh, all the parts are already sanded and ready to go. You really just clean the parts, glue them together and paint. So uh, it's great. It's great that we can bring that back to um, our original fan base. And um, like I said, it, it really kind of separates us in the marketplace. Also, uh, you guys were also mentioning too that if you pre-order, there's mm -hmm. something special that you're getting. There's a special incentive if they jump well, on the pre-orders right away for the uh, this new one. Yeah, yeah. So if you pre-order um, this, and it's not for not for every single pre-order. There's there's going to be a bit of a, a a drawing, a raffle, if you will. But uh, you know, you have to pre-order uh, in order to get in that raffle. Be a and part of it. Yeah, yeah, to be a part of it. And so I know the Sworn Nation. They they're all about challenge coins, right? I oh, mean, yeah. it's I see those all the time. People popping up. I'm here. Check this out. You know, and they got their coins. Well, um, we have one too. So we have uh, a awesome. uh, Call of Comics and Quarantine Studio. This is commemorate our um, our relationship with each other, um, and this these will be available. Uh, again, it'll be a select few that can that can get them uh, through the pre-order. So um, if you want one of those, uh, you want to be sure and get uh, get your pre-order in uh, pretty quick. Oh, that is so awesome! I remember seeing. When you guys first posted that, people were going nuts on Sworn Nation. So, I mean, it's the two great logos together just on one challenge coin. And just to know it's going to be super collectible. You can't just buy it and get it. You're going to have to, it's going to be like a raffle, right? So if you're in with the first few pre-orders, oh man, that is just even more enticing. I love that you guys always do that kind of stuff. You, you just always trying to be creative. I know you even gave away a Hellwitch statue on a Kickstarter, on a Hellwitch Kickstarter. It was just... That just blew us away too. It's like I can't believe they're giving, they're doing that. You guys are just so thinking outside the box and just so grateful for the fans for like uh, fan appreciation the things you guys do. Absolutely, yeah. It's it's all about the fans because we're fans too, and so we know you know we know what people like. We like to think we do anyway, and so um, giving something away every now and then it's just um, you know it's just our way of giving back to the community, and we really appreciate the fans. So. Anything we can do. <laughs> All right. So the moment everyone's been waiting for. So 
2024 is going to be a, a big year for Coffin and for uh, Quarantine Studios. So what can you reveal and let everyone know what can you tease us for 2024? Yeah, so uh, we've put a lot of thought into it, you know, and it's with the with the Coffin Comic brand there with that with that library. I mean, there's just so much to pick from. Um, and the motorcycles outside of here, apparently they like it too. Um, but uh, yeah, there's just so much to pick from. It's just like the hardest decision or, or the hardest part of it is trying to decide what to do. So uh, we put our heads together with Brian and um, well, I think we come up with something that I think folks would like. I don't know. We'll, we'll see here. So um, what about this? Oh, about yeah. Ladies and tennis. How about that? Ladies and um, and, and not just a poster like this. I'm talking about a 3D statue full on. So uh, yeah, that's what we're looking for in uh, in 2024. And so there'll be more news about that, including all the cool behind the scenes where you can get to see some of the uh, preliminary uh, statue buildups, uh, what's going on with the factory, all that kind of stuff. So if you really want to uh, get in tune with that, be sure to get on over to the website, get signed up for the newsletter, follow us on Facebook. And, um, you know, we'll be we'll be keeping those behind the scenes uh, looks coming as, as you as they go. Yeah. So was that the image or are you guys still trying to figure out which one you're going to do for the Lady Satanis? Um, yeah, we're, we're still kind of going back and forth on that. So, but it's, it, that's probably going to be it. Uh, that's such a good, uh, powerful image. Uh, so we're really liking that. We may, we may tweak a few things, who knows? Uh, but odds are that's going to be the direction it goes in. So, so we have that. And then there's, there's some other things out there. Like I said, there's always something. It's just, what do we do next? Yeah, it's an ever-expanding universe at Coffin Comics, so I'm oh, yeah. so happy that you're a part of that as well. Folks, if you like what you're hearing, go to uh, Quarantine's Facebook page, let them know, uh, you know, give them a thumbs up and uh, follow, like, do all that stuff on their social media, and let them know what you think about Lady Satanis coming in 2024. And if you have any suggestions on which images, send it their way. You know, they, they like to listen to uh, the fans, so uh, let them know what you think. Absolutely, yeah. We always like hearing from the fans because, um, I mean – we want to give you what you're wanting. So uh, we can't give everybody exactly what they want, but boy, we'll try. So please let us know what you like, what you don't like. And uh, uh, we definitely take that to heart. Well, yeah, the future is so, so bright here for quarantine and coffin. It's just uh, so exciting. I'm, I'm happy to see that, you know, the Lady Death new uh, pre-order is going to be launching pretty soon. And then 2024 with Lady Satanis it's, is going to be insane. Uh, any final words here for Crucial Con 2024? 2023 for everyone uh watching uh the fans and the fiends and everyone else who loves collectibles yeah i just want to say thank you um it's been it's been an incredible ride and it's going to be an even better ride as we go to the future we keep pushing the boundaries and coffin keeps coming up with some, some really cool stuff and we're really excited about it uh but it's none of it's possible without the fans so just a huge thank you to the fans and to you guys over at uh at Coffin working with us. It's been a pleasure working with you guys. We're looking forward to the future. And uh, yeah, everyone, we should plan a trip and head out there to see your new location. I'd love to uh, check it out and see uh, see what you guys got cooking. It's just like the Frankenstein's laboratory over there, I bet. It's going to be super, <laughs> super fun. But uh, hey, thank you so much for spending the time here, letting everyone know. It's uh, always a fun talking with you, Willem. And uh, so for everyone else, stick around. We've got more. Crucial Con coming your way and uh, stay sworn. Give me a coffin out. <laughs>